Hello everyone. I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. In this video, I am going to continue the uh, scheme and solution for the model question paper of uh, third semester. So earlier I have discussed uh, the question number one, two, and three. So in this video, I am going to discuss uh, the question number four, which is from Fourier series. So the question is as follows: Find the Fourier series expansion of f of x, which is equal to two x minus x square. In the interval zero comma three, so write down the given function f of x and which is defined in the interval zero comma three. We know that the Fourier series expansion defined uh, defined for the interval c to c plus two l is given by f of x equal to a naught by two summation n equal to one to infinity a n cos n pi x by l plus summation n equal to one to infinity b n sin n pi x by l. So write down what is a naught. What is the values of a naught, a n, and b n? So I have noted down that values since the interval is zero to three. So that implies c comma c plus two l is equal to zero to three. As c is equal to zero, c plus two l equal to three. So therefore, the value of l is three by two. Now substituting the value of three by two uh, l value in the above equation, we are going to get f of x. A naught by two plus summation n equal to one to infinity a n cos n pi x by three plus summation n equal to one to infinity b n sine two n pi x by three. So now I am going to check for even or odd. So considering the given function f of x and replacing x by three minus x, if we get back with f of x or minus f of x, we can tell that it is uh, even or odd. But in this case, we are not getting equal to f of x or neither equal to minus f of x. We can say that it is neither even nor odd function. So we are going to find out a naught, a n, b n. So a naught is given given by two by three. Since l value is three by two, one over l can be written as two by three. Integral zero to three, two x minus x square dx. Integrating this term. Integral of 2x is 2x square by 2, and x square integral is x cube by 3. Substitute the limit 0 to 3. I am going to get a naught value as 0, and we can define a naught by 2 is 0. A n value is 2 by 3 integral 0 to 3 2x minus x square cos 2 pi n x divided by 3 dx. Apply Bernoulli's rule here. So while applying Bernoulli's rule, we are going to get uh, the value of an is nothing but minus 9 by n square pi square. Now, fi finally, we will find out uh, the bn value. Bn is given by 2 by 3 times of integral 0 to 3 2x minus x square sine of 2n pi x by 3 dx. Integrating this by Bernoulli's rule, we are going to get uh, bn equal to 2 by 3. Apply UV rule. So, which is nothing but 2x minus x square into integral of sine is minus cos 2n pi x divided by 3. So, whole thing multiplied by 3 into 3 by 2n pi minus derivative of 2x minus x square is 2 minus 2x minus integral of minus cos is minus sine of 2n pi x by 3 into 3 by 2n pi whole square. Differentiation of 2 minus 2x is minus 2. Integral of minus sine is plus sin, plus cos 2n pi x divided by 3 multiplied by 3 by 2n pi whole cube limit 0 to 3. After substituting the limit and simplifying further, we are going to get the b n as 3 by n pi. Substituting these a naught, a n, and b n value in the above equation f of x, we are going to get f of x as minus 9 by pi square. Summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 over n square cos of 2 pi n x divided by 3 plus 3 by pi summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 over n sine of 2 pi n x divided by 3 is the required solution. Moving on to next problem, obtain of range for sine series for the given function f of x as k x and k times of l minus x in the interval 0 to l by 2 and l by 2. To L, so we know that of range uh, Fourier sine series is given by f of x equal to summation n equal to one to infinity b n sine of n pi x divided by L. So where b n is defined as two by L integral c to c plus L f of x sine of n pi x by L dx. Since the given interval is zero uh, to L and uh, c equal to zero, so therefore L equal to L itself here. 
and x can be split from 0 to l by 2 and l by 2 to l. So, in the interval 0 to l by 2, the f of x is defined as kx and from the interval l by 2 to l, the function is defined as k into l minus x. Substituting this under the integral sign, we are going to get bn equal to 2 by l integral 0 to l by 2 kx sin of n pi x by l dx plus integral l by 2 to l k times of l minus x into sin of n pi x by l dx. Now applying Bernoulli's rule, we are going to get uh, bn as after all simplification with uh, respect to the limits, we are going to get bn as 4 k l by n square pi square sin of n pi by 2. So, substituting this uh, bn value in the above expression called f of x, we are going to get f of x is equal to 4 k l by pi square summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 over n square sin of n pi by 2 sin of n pi x by l is the required solution for the given Fourier series. Moving on to question number 4c, expand y as a Fourier series up to the first harmonic if the values of y are given by as follows. So, consider the given problem and we require to find out first harmonics. So, I have explained in depth in the previous videos of harmonic analysis. You can go through that uh, shortcut how to find the harmonic and how to find how to analyze the harmonic analysis problem and refer that video you will come to know how to solve this problem. So, here I have given the solution, you can refer this solution. So, I have got A naught value is 2.691 and A1 equal to minus 0 0.0425 and B1 equal to minus 0.4793. Substituting these A naught, A1, B1 value in equation star. So, we are going to get F of X as 1.345 minus 0 0.0425 cos x plus 0 0.4793 sin x is the required solution for the given problem. So, if you have any doubts, you can put a comment in comment box and thank you for watching this video.